Faithful, what's good? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. I gotta thank all the faithful for liking, subscribing my content. And I appreciate you guys leaving them comments in the comment section. But anyway, let's get into the top three bold predictions for the 49ers upcoming 2020 season. Let's go. Three. To kick off the list, Faithful, we start with the big man. Who's going to be manning that defensive line. The man who was drafted first round out of South Carolina. Faithful, you know who it is. It's Javon Kinlaw. And Faithful, we all know Javon Kinlaw has high expectations. He's expected to man the defensive line, take on double teams, um, get a pass rush on the quarterback, stop the run. And Ken Law's already getting rave reviews from Trent Williams, the all-pro left tackle we acquired in the offseason. And if he gets review, rave reviews from Trent Williams, I think the sky is the limit for Javon Kinlaw and his production in the NFL wearing that red and gold. I expect Javon Kinlaw to achieve 10 sacks in his rookie season and be a top three candidate for Defensive Rookie of the Year. I'm so eager to see you dominate in the middle of our defensive line. Two. Faithful, this next player is eager to prove doubters wrong. He hasn't quite lived up to the contract he signed two years ago because his sorry ass can't stay healthy. Obviously, Faithful, y'all know who I'm talking about. It's Jet McKinnon. Now, in training camp this year, Jet McKinnon has been receiving rave reviews from his teammates. And our top flight linebackers have said that it's hard to keep up with McKinnon in the open field. I mean, he's just zip zapping all around the field. So I expect Jet McKinnon to get at least 500 receiving yards and 500 rushing yards in Kyle Shanahan's offense. I feel that Jet McKinnon will use, excuse me, I feel that Kyle Shanahan will use Jet McKinnon as a dynamic chess piece in the open field and on the offense. So I'm expecting big things from you, Jet McKinnon, and I can't wait to see you in the red and go healthy, baby. Let's go. One. I saved the best for last, baby. Faithful. This player has been a disappointment so far in their red and gold tenure. Since he's been drafted at 2018, Shanahan has expected big things from this player. And so have we, but we've been disappointed. That's that player and faithful, I know you're wondering. It's Dante Pettis, of course. Now all indications throughout camp is Dante Pettis has been more motivated than ever to be consistent in our offense and to provide a spark. And frankly, we haven't gotten that so far. But Dante Pettis will have the best opportunity he's ever had this year due to many numerous injuries that we've had in our receiving core. And also, John Lynch, who I respect, says that this is the best he's seen of Dante Pettis. And he's more motivated than ever to compete and to provide stability at the wide receiver position for the red and gold. So I predict Dante Pettis will be a key factor in our offense. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say Dante Pettis will lead the Niners in catches this year. You can book it. Now, Faithful, let me know what you think of my list. Did I miss anyone? Or what players would you put for this list? Let me know up in the comments. And this has been another Jay in the Bay production. And I'm so eager for the season to start. We only got a few more days, baby. I'll see y'all in the next one.